morning, everyone. Thanks for being here at Dev Day. Whoa. All right. We are trying to make AI beneficial to everyone. And apparently, I am still learning how to walk on this stage. ChatGPT can now connect your bank account and spend your money on so on. OpenAI had their Dev Day yesterday, and there was some interesting stuff. I wouldn't say everything was interesting for me personally. Uh, but I want to start off with something I do want to try out, and that is the Sora 2 API. Uh, I think this could be pretty cool, and there are some cool stuff we can build with this. So this is what I focus on today, and we're just going to grow through some of the notes I have here. Uh, we have two different versions of the model. We have the Sora 2 that is kind of available in the app, I think. Uh, this is fast generation, good quality, and we have the Sora 2 Pro. We're gonna try that out. So this is slower, uh, but high quality and a bit of a higher resolution. Uh, we can do image inputs, we can try that out. Uh, Remix is something we wanna test. Uh, yeah, there are some restrictions, so we can't do so many interesting things. Uh, but there are a few things we can try out uh, with input images uh, yeah, and prompting. I guess that's pretty straightforward. Uh, so I think we're just gonna get into it here and kind of look at, uh, let's start with the pricing. That is pretty interesting. So if we look at the pricing, uh, there are two different or kind of three different pricing models here. You can see we have the Sora 2 uh, that has a portrait and a landscape of 720p, right? Uh, but if we look at Sora 2 Pro, we can also do 720p. Um, this costs 30 cents per 10 second per seconds so if you want to make a 10 second video that's three dollars oh that is not cheap <laughs> uh, and if you go up to the yeah the 10 24 resolution uh it's five dollars for 10 seconds so yeah you gotta choose <laughs> choose your uh generations with care here i think uh, but this is fine. This is more of like a standard. It's on the high end, but you can make a 10 cent, uh, ten second video for t uh, for one dollar. Uh, that is okay, I would say. It's not crazy. Uh, so let's see what we can do now with the API here. So as always, I think OpenAI do a good job with their um, their code here. It's very easy to use, right? We just pick a model. Uh, we can have a prompt. So now we're going to use the default parameters. And this is a very simple snippet. Uh, we can add some parameters here like, um, yeah, we can add seconds. I think we can choose between 4, 8 and 12. Uh, we can do the parameter, uh, the model, right? And we can do the, the aspect ratio, right? Uh, portrait or vertical. Uh, this video ID is also something we're going to use. I'm going to show you that later. But pretty much it's a straightforward standard API call uh, uh, with kind of the API here. It's nothing fancy. You have, you, you're have kind of used to this. Uh, we can do Python too. It's pretty much the same setup. So let's give it a spin. So let's head over to Cursor. So this is kind of my setup now. I'm going to pick the Sora 2 model. I'm going to do portrait. Is that? Yeah. Uh, 12 seconds. Uh, I'm just going to call it output.mp4. Uh, uh, that's pretty straightforward. If you're not going to do any input image now, we're just going to do like a standard video generation. So down here now, we can just put in like node generate video.js and add our prompt here. Uh, we're going to do some of the viral videos I have generated. I'm not going to go into that now, but I have some crazy viral videos with this. So this is like a body cam with a gamer getting uh, arrested for being too bad at a video game. So let's just run this prompt here. So when we fire this up now, you can see uh, it's pretty st standard. We get a video ID here that we can use for remix and stuff. That's pretty interesting. And yeah, this is just going to generate the video here. So we're just going to queue this. And this will come in uh, our uh, uh, CVD here as output.mp4. So it's pretty fast. So uh, let's just wait for this before we do anything else. So that was done, so you can see now we're gonna get the video here, uh, output.mp4. And I thought we can just watch this, right? Uh, it's just a meme video, but let's watch it anyway. All right, man, you know why we're here. You died so many times, the server clock rolled over. From his database through an integer overflow and half the leaderboard went down. I was just practicing the tree sentinel. Practicing? You ran straight at him with no pants on 11,000 times. You never rolled once, you can't- Okay, so it is pretty funny, right? And the I gotta say, this looks very good. One thing I'm noticing on the API is that there's no video mark or watermark. Hmm. I didn't see that before. Okay. Well, that's interesting, at least. 
Uh, okay, so that was kind of the, um, the Sora original model that we had tried in the app, right? So let's try to do the Pro one. So let's try to do the max resolution. So let's do a landscape this time. Let's grab this resolution here, go to our code and put in this. Let's do Sora 2 Pro. Uh, let's call it output, uh, yeah, whatever, right? And uh, let's call it output Pro. Uh, let's do the same prompt and let's run it again with this settings. Okay, so that took a while. That took, yeah, I don't know, maybe like five minutes at least. Uh, but we got the, the, the video here, so it's 12 seconds. Uh, I can already tell that the quality is much higher. Uh, but let's just watch it a couple of times and just to see how good it looks and how good it sounds. And yeah, remember, this is a $5 or more. That's like a $6 video, right? Uh, but let's play this now in full. Easy, man. You're not in trouble for anything else, just the deaths. I, I don't understand. I was just playing. Yeah, you died 14 million times. That counter in the corner? Server starts spitting negatives, crashed the whole database. FromSoft called us. Easy, man. You're not in trouble for anything else, just I, the deaths. I, I don't understand. I was just playing. Yeah, you died 14 million times. That counter in the corner? Server starts spitting negatives, crashed the whole database. FromSoft called us. Okay, again, that was pretty funny. The, how many million times? And it crashed the server. So, yeah, I think these memes are very good. And they're very popular when I put them up online. Uh, but again, you can see the quality was much better now, and I would say, yeah, I, I noticed, Lee, like, I can kind of see the details, you can see the still the text is a bit strange, uh, but overall the quality was much better. I think the sound was a bit better too, I'm not quite sure, it's a bit early to tell, uh, but this looks very good, but it is pricey, $5 for one video. Can't do a lot of those, at least on my budget. I don't think I'm going to spend too much on this, but um, yeah, pretty impressive. Now let's look at something I thought was pretty cool, and that was the image input. I had a lot of fun with this uh, when testing it out, so I'm going to show you kind of what I was thinking when I put up uh, this workflow here. So if you go to cursor, and let's find, I think I call it jump to. So I created kind of this storyboard here, so you can see we have this house. And we have this guy on top of the roof, and I have this jumping, I have the sun here, right? And this is a trampoline here. So, he's gonna jump down here, right? So that is the kind of storyboard ID. So, what we can do now, uh, we can actually just open up the terminal here. And you can see kind of in my prompt here, uh, I can do node generate video.js, this is my script. POV handheld footage. Follow the scenes in the storyboard, and then I'm gonna just tag my image here. That's gonna be the input, right? So follow the story. Uh, this is kind of the guy jumping on the trampoline, and there's a sunny day. This is kind of the story, and that is the only input I'm gonna give it. So let's run this, and let's see what kind of, yeah, video this input generate with the attached image here. Okay, so you can see we got this back, right? And what is interesting that the first frame here is now our input image. Uh, I think we've seen this before in other video models, uh, but it does need the first frame to be the image we put in, right? Uh, but as you will see soon, uh, this will change when we go to the second frame. So let's uh, play this a couple of times and see what we generated from this input prompt. All right, three, two, one, woo! Yes! Oh, that was awesome. That launch feels crazy. Totally worth it. Thumbs up for rooftop trampolines. All right, three, two, one, woo! Yes! Oh, that was awesome. That launch feels crazy. Totally worth it. Thumbs up for rooftop trampolines. Okay, I would say that did a pretty good job, right? It kind of did follow. You can see we have the roof here, we have the trampoline, we have the guy jumping down. So it did actually follow uh, our instructions in the storyboard and it kind of did adhere to the handheld camera style we gave it, right? So yeah, I think that was pretty cool. And this is just one of the things you can do with input images. It's very restricted at the moment, so I don't think I'm gonna play too much with it uh, Yeah, uh, today. Uh, but the, the video would have generated at the start of the video, the intro joke, that was also done with like a, an input image from the dev day scene, right? So I guess you kind of understood that. So yeah, that is kind of the input image now. Let's look at, take a look at the remix feature.
for this, let's go back to Sora 2. Let's just do a 720p uh, vertical video. Vertical? Yeah, vertical video. Uh, 12 seconds, and the prompt is gonna be beautiful blonde girl in her 30s wearing a coat, street interview. The male asks her, what do you, what do you say is the biggest joy in life? Girl answers, sitting down at night, just me and a glass of wine and chat GPT, handheld camera. So let's run this prompt and let's watch the video. Then we're gonna try to remix the video just to see what we can do with a video we already have. And this is where we're gonna use the video ID. I'm gonna show you that, but first let's create this video. Okay, so that was done. So you can see here is the result, right? Uh, yeah, let's just play it one time. And then we're gonna try to remix this. What would you say your biggest joy in life is? Honestly? Sitting down at night, just me, a glass of wine, and chat GPT, that little ritual makes everything feel okay. <laughs> I love that. What okay, that was pretty lame, right? That sounds like a perfect night. Uh, but anyway, let's try to remix this now. So what we can do is we can bring up this. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff. Let's clear this. So I'm gonna show you kind of the, the prompt we can do if we wanna remix this. So this is with my script, of course. Now you can see we're gonna run node remix video.js. This is kind of my own script. And here is where we put in this video ID. So for every video you generate, you can go to OpenAI and you can fetch these video IDs because they get stored in this kind of library where you can go back and download all your generations. And here you can find this ID here. So I put in the ID and I put in kind of what I want to change. So I wanna say, Change the woman's hairstyle to an 80s ponytail with a pink scrunchie. And I want to change her accent to British. So let's try to do those two things. And then we can see what happens with this input video uh, when we do the yeah remixing here. Okay, so you can see we ended up with this one. And already you can see she already has this high hair ponytail style. So let's just watch the video and hear if her accent also changed. What would you say your biggest joy in life is? Honestly, sitting down at night, just me, a glass of wine, and chat GPT. That little ritual makes everything feel okay. <laughs> I love that. Please. Yeah, perfect, right? So that is something I also found pretty cool. You can do different versions of video. Let's say you have a video you really like, but there's a few details missing. This remix feature could be something cool. You can change the color of her coat, maybe the background, the, yeah, I don't know exactly, but uh, you, you get the point, right? And this was really impressive, to be honest. This is something I haven't really tried on other models before, and this is something surely we can build something cool with. Uh, but that's gonna be an upcoming video today, I just wanna go through kind of the API here. And if you look at my list now, I don't think there are any other things I wanna cover. Of course, the prompting is something you can explore with, I did try to put in like uh, real people, human faces and stuff in with the image input. You just get shut down immediately. It's not like the first day of Sora 2. Uh, but so far uh, I have really enjoyed the API. I think it's pretty interesting and yeah, I'm looking to create an app maybe in a few, a video, upcoming video where we can create a very cool AI app using Sora 2. Uh, but it gets very expensive fast, right? Let's say I wanted to generate 20 videos on the cheapest model, right? That's gonna be $20 for just some fun. It does get expensive fast. So I'm not quite sure yet what we're gonna use it for, but uh, there are some use cases and hopefully the price gets down over time here. So yeah, I think that was basically everything I wanted to cover in the Sora 2 API. Uh, we're gonna explore it more later. Um, later this week, I think I'm gonna do the GPT real-time mini because this gets like a 70% less expensive uh, a, a voice real-time. And we can try to maybe connect some MCPs and stuff to the real-time. Maybe we'll test out the 5 Pro in the API. That is also really interesting, but that's gonna be in an upcoming video. So yeah, that was Sora 2. Um, I would say go play around with it. It's pretty fun, but uh, again, expensive. So yeah, hope you learned something from this. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again very soon.